Hi everyone. Welcome to Nerd Design Lab. I hope you're all doing amazing. Today, we're talking about the SWE ladder at Google. If you've ever wondered what the difference is between an L3 and an L8 SWE, or how to grow your career at Google, this video is for you. The Software Engineer Ladder at Google is a framework that defines roles and expectations for engineers. It's divided into levels, starting at L3 for entry-level roles, all the way up to L8 and beyond for distinguished engineers. Each level represents increased responsibility, technical expertise, and leadership skills. Think of it like a game, every level up means you've unlocked new skills and responsibilities. Let's start with L3, which is where new graduates or those with less than two years of experience typically join. At this level, you'll focus on learning Google's systems, writing clean code, and contributing to projects under the guidance of more senior engineers. Next is L4. This is for engineers with some experience, usually around two to five years. At this level, you're expected to work more independently, take ownership of components, and mentor L3S. You're also starting to show initiative in proposing improvements. L5 is a major milestone. As a senior software engineer, you'll lead projects, design scalable systems, and have a significant impact on your team's direction. This is also when you're expected to mentor others and contribute to the team's overall growth. Fun fact, most promotions to L5 require demonstrating leadership without having an official title. L6 is the staff software engineer role. At this level, your focus shifts to cross-team collaboration and solving high-impact problems. You're not just writing code, you're influencing the direction of products and guiding other senior engineers. Then we have L7. Senior staff engineers are technical leaders who think strategically across multiple teams or even organizations. You're expected to tackle ambiguous problems, lead critical initiatives, and mentor L6S and L5S. At L8, you've reached principal engineer status. This is a highly prestigious role where you influence company-wide technical decisions, drive innovation, and often represent Google at industry events. Think of L8S as the Avengers of Google's engineering team. Now you're probably wondering, how do you grow from one level to the next? At Google, it's all about demonstrating impact, leadership, and technical excellence at the next level before you're promoted. Here's a quick summary of what's expected at each step. L3 to L4, build foundational skills, gain confidence, and show initiative. L4 to L5, take ownership of projects and mentor others. L5 to L6, lead cross-team collaborations and solve larger scale problems. L6 to L7, drive strategic initiatives and influence product directions. L7 to L8. Lead at an organizational level and represent Google externally. Here's some advice if you're aiming to grow on the SWE ladder at Google. Focus on impact. Always ask yourself, how is my work driving the team's success? Build relationships. Collaborate across teams and learn from senior engineers. Be patient. Promotions take time, and they're based on sustained performance. And that's a wrap on the SWE ladder at Google. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future content.